Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Hump Day on this Wednesday morning. It is the third day of October, and yesterday on the second day of October, we got up to 91 degrees. I think we're going to be in the same general neighborhood as that today, uh, and that's a bad neighborhood. And then maybe even a degree or two warmer later in the week. Big upper level mound of high pressure acting as a roadblock to keep any cold fronts from coming into this area. How long will the roadblock be up? We'll take you right on through the weekend and look beyond onto the horizon for any signs of relief. Plus, out there in the Western Caribbean, a quote unquote area to watch. What about the future of this? What are the models doing with the future of this area to watch? Let's get into it. Once again today, the big player is that upper-level ridge of high pressure stretched across the Gulf states, which is going to make for a hot day and suppress any showers. In fact, the heat is on. Temperatures will be near the 90-degree mark again today, and I think we'll, we'll even be hotter later in the week. So lots of sunshine today. We never take the rain chances quite down to zero, but it's about as low as it gets. With today's high 90, tonight's low 70, and light easterly winds at 4 to 8 miles per hour. Tomorrow, another hot and dry day. It's hard to believe it is the first week of October. With uh, upper level high pressure centered right over us, Thursday will begin a string of lower 90s, I think 92 Thursday, uh, and uh, that will spread across the southeastern U.S. and cover well, even some records perhaps down in Florida, believe it or not. Then on Friday, very hot for October. I've got the high at 93 with high pressure at the surface off the eastern coast. And over the weekend, even though the big upper-level high shifts to the, around Norfolk, Virginia, the upper high is very strong and covers much of the eastern U.S., so still hot and mainly dry. I see a couple of showers there uh, in southwest Alabama. But uh, for most of us, the weekend is very hot and dry, continuing Sunday and into early next week as well. With the rain chances, you know, uh, as close to zero as you can get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And look at those temperatures. That's unbelievable for October with highs in the lower 90s and lows at night in the upper 60s and not much change Sunday and Monday. So I'm just going to show you this map for some reason. This is the GFS way out there on Monday, October 15th, showing a nice front coming through here with relief. Should we believe that? You know, maybe not. We'll see if that works out. Just wanted to give us all some hope out there in the tropics. Breaking news as I make this, Leslie just became a hurricane, but it's out there spinning around doing nothing. The area to watch is out there in the Western Caribbean with a 30% chance of development according to the National Hurricane Center. Not many showers and storms currently associated with it, no organization. The European likes to bring uh, this little low pressure area through the Yucatan Channel and maybe eventually uh, curve it eastward in the eastern Gulf of Mexico towards Florida, while the GFS takes a weak area of low pressure north of the Yucatan Channel, and then moves it generally in the direction of Mexico. So what will happen? I don't know. The uh, Canadian, I'll just happen to I'll show you that, is in the middle. It goes up to the northern Gulf Coast, but we don't put too much stock in the Canadian. There will be an emergency alert system test today at 1.18 p.m. Just a heads up, because it's going to come on your cellular devices, including your phone. Broadcast outlets will broadcast it as well. 1.18 this afternoon at 1.20, there will be an all clear. This is to test the emergency uh, national system to see if it's working. So uh, that area to watch out there in the Caribbean, uh, we have several days to keep an eye on that and see how the models handle that. And eventually, hopefully, they'll come into some agreement. Uh, that's the area of the world that we watch this time of the year in early October. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Opal. More on that tomorrow morning. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg J. Emily. Bailey the Wonder Dog is also uh, part of our crew. You'll hear her from time to time in the background as well. Ryan Stinnon and I talk weather on TV. TV. Join us on CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 5.50 in the morning. And then uh, again, all of us, uh, the, their morning crew and our morning crew interacting at 6.40 a.m. And your forecast across the dial whenever you want it, of course, on the Blue Water family of stations. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning right here at 4.45 a.m. That's when it goes online. I will see you later. Summer rolls on. Extended summer.